I'm Frederick Ospo, driver of the Rockstar Energy Drink, next entire Toyota Corolla IM in Formula Drift. Very different drift car, but yet one that can really take names, so one that we're trying to win the championship in. A typical drift car is a rear-wheel drive sports car. The car we drive, however, is the opposite. It's a front-wheel drive grocery getter, if you will. It's a Corolla IM that we've now turned into a badass pro car. So what we did is we turned the engine 90 degrees. It makes around 1,000 horsepower. It runs off with straight ethanol. We use nitrous for bottom end spool. It shoots fireballs. It goes through a set of tires in 40 seconds. It's literally a pretty crazy contraption. My first drift car, per se, was a $300 Volvo 360 that I used to run around and sell vacuum cleaners in. And then I built a really basic BMW with my friends, and from then on, it's been all Toyotas. I learned that the Toyota Supra was a great base chassis for drifting, and I've been through several Toyotas. It's been Supras, it's been GT86s, it's been Scions, and now the Toyota Corolla I am. The best part about drifting is that it's the art of controlling a car that's essentially out of control. So we take these cars, we pitch them sideways, and it turns into a show that is a highlight of everything automotive. You have a very diverse field of characters. You have Captain America against ninjas from Japan, against clowns from Norway. It is everything that you want to see in a car race put together in a highly explosive package. In other forms of racing, you can warm yourself up. You have a couple laps to kind of feel out the car and then you may have 20 minutes or three hours of competing. Drifting is not like that. We sit there and we wait for hours and then boom, we have 20 seconds to shine. The real battles are not really fought with the cars. The real battles are fought in here. You would think that my fiercest competitor would be the guy that has beaten us the most. And in that respect, you could say it would be Von Gitten Jr. Or, or some of the top dogs. But that's not really the case, because all of these guys here today, the top 32 field, they can all win this event. So they're all there to take us down. You've got to treat them with respect, but you look at them as numbers and try and have them not get to you.